We begin tonight with a lawsuit that's been filed on behalf of Abby Zwerner, the new News teacher who police say was shot by her six-year-old student back in January. News 3 reporter Ellen Ice breaks down the details in today's lawsuit. The lawsuit claims the six-year-old boy who police say shot Abby Zwerner on January 6 had a long history of violent and disturbing behavior. He was even suspended two days before the shooting for smashing Abby Zwerner's cell phone. All of this and more are why Zwerner's attorneys are asking for $40 million. The lawsuit claims this, repeated behavioral problems at school starting from the boy's kindergarten year. According to the lawsuit, the boy choked and strangled his kindergarten teacher. He was removed from Richneck, but was allowed to return by administrators for the 2022-2023 school year under modified supervision, meaning a parent had to be with him during the day. The lawsuit alleges that several school board members, the former assistant principal, the former principal and former superintendent, all should be held accountable for gross negligence for the events leading up to January 6th as well as for the shooting on that day. The principal's attorney released a statement today saying they're exploring a countersuit against Warner. Pamela Branch, who represents Brianna Foster Newton, says it's been brought to her attention that another student warns Warner that the student had a gun. Branch claims Warner told the student to sit down and be quiet. Branch said, quote, if this is true, Ms. Warner may have been able to avoid the injuries she suffered, and this will certainly impact her claim damages. Branch said her client was never told about this. Here's what Branch said earlier this year. The fact of the matter is that those who were aware that the student may have had a gun on the premises that day did not report this to Ms. Newton at all. The lawsuit claims on the day of the shooting, several staff members reported to the assistant principal that the boy had a gun and was in, quote, a violent mood. And the assistant principal did not contact authorities or have the student searched. Just before the end of the school day, the court documents say the boy pulled a gun from his pocket and shot Zwerner while she was sitting at her reading table. Police say the bullet went through her hand and into her chest. I reached out to Zwerner's attorneys. Here's what they said. Quote, the Newport News School Division had a duty to Abby, but they failed her miserably that day. As a result of their inaction, Abby was shot by a six-year-old student and she will never be the same. She has endured four surgeries and still has a bullet lodged inside her. In addition to holding the school division accountable for its failures, this lawsuit is a means to deliver justice for Abby in this tragic but entirely preventable situation. In addition to the $40 million, Werner's attorneys are also asking for a trial by jury. In Newport News, Ellen Ice, News 3. And this footnote. We reached out to the Newport News School Board for a response to the lawsuit that was filed today. They said they have not yet received the lawsuit. They said, and I'm quoting, our thoughts and prayers remain with Abby Zwerner and her ongoing recovery. They went on to say, the school board and the school division's leadership team will continue to do whatever it takes to ensure a safe and secure teaching and learning environment across our schools, end quote. 